I used to believe that who I was ended at the edge of my skin. You can spend your whole life imagining ghosts, worrying about the pathway to the future, but all there will ever be is what's happening here and the decisions we make in this moment, which are based in either love or fear. You can fail at what you don't want. That's all you have to figure out. The effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. And that piece, that piece that we're after, lies somewhere beyond personality, beyond the perception of others, beyond invention and disguise, even beyond effort itself. Your need for acceptance can make you invisible in this world. Don't let anything stand in the way of the light that shines through this form. Risk being seen in all of your glory. Because ultimately, we're not the avatars we create. We're not the pictures on the film stock. We are the light that shines through. All else is just smoke and mirrors, distracting, but not truly compelling. I just want you to relax. Relax and dream up a good life. Our eyes are not viewers. They're also projectors that are running a second story over the picture that we see in front of us all the time. Fear is writing that script, and the working title is I'll Never Be Enough. And you cannot stop until you've left an indelible mark on the earth, until you've achieved immortality. How tricky is this ego that it would tempt us with the promise of something we already possess? As far as I can tell, it's just about letting the universe know what you want and working toward it while letting go of how it comes to pass. Open the door in your head, and when the door opens in real life, just walk through it. You will only ever have two choices, love or fear. Choose love, and don't ever let fear turn you against your playful heart.